The Chancellor visited SUNY Brockport, but it wasn't to talk about COVID-19. She visited in response to racial tensions over the last month. Kayla Green was there and joins us now. So, Kayla, what did the Chancellor have to say about all this? Adam, the Chancellor says she met with President Heidi McPherson and some students this morning. She also met with Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren last night. She says the biggest request from students to see a more inclusive Brockport. I think it was cool to see the SUNY Chancellor like really get involved. Justin Fernandez is one of many students who talked to Chancellor Christina Johnson during her visit to SUNY Brockport today. You just have to be vigilant and continue. It's a continuous process. Student Brandy Diaz says feeling uncomfortable on campus is his main concern. I've been here for four years. The only reason why I do feel comfortable here on this campus is because I was able to surround myself with people like me, people of color. During Chancellor Johnson's meeting with President Heidi McPherson, they discussed the school's five-point plan to fix the issues on campus. When asked if she has faith in the president to carry it out, I have faith in Brockport as an institution for the faculty, the students, and the staff, and that's why I'm here. I'm not here to talk about any individual or person. I'm here to hear from the students, which was terrific. The chancellor also met with Mayor Lovely Warren last night. The mayor says the chancellor asked her to have faith. The students, most of all, deserved answers, and uh, they were looking for it, and, and that this isn't going to go away. And we had to work hard in order to make sure that the students feel that their voices have been heard. The chancellor also brought the SUNY Oswego chief diversity officer to campus to help Brockport move forward. And she says a new bias reporting system will also be created. Kayla Green, News 8. Kayla, thank you. We've been tracking developments on the Brockport campus since this all began. And you can find a complete timeline of events with this story at rochesterfirst.com.